Live, where news comes first. This is ABC7 with breaking news. Well, take a look at this video as migrants rush past a temporary barrier to gather right in front of the border barrier. We have team coverage coming up. Well, good afternoon and thank you for joining us on air and online at KVI.com and on your smartphone for ABC 7 at 4. I'm Nicole Gomez. Well, a group of hundreds of migrants arrived at the border wall at the International Marker 36. That's near El Paso's Lower Valley. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Eriberto Perez joins us live from south of the border with the details. Eddie. Good afternoon, Nicole. This week, big groups of migrants have been seen arriving here at the International Market 36, as you just said, just a couple of feet away of Riverside Elementary School in El Paso's Lower Valley. But, uh, Nicole, you can see behind me, it's pretty empty. A couple of hours ago, groups of hundreds of migrants were facing U.S. authorities. But I want you also to take a look here. I'm going to ask Jerry Najera to turn on my left. A small groups of migrants are still facing the border wall, and some members of the Texas National Guard. You showed one video earlier, Nicole, and I want you to take a look at it again. This video was shared to us by your news partners in Juarez Canal 44 from yesterday. You can see a big group of migrants storming one of the fences and the razor wire placed by the Texas National Guard. Some reports say migrants eventually took down the fence yesterday. Today I saw Texas National Guard soldiers placing more razor wire and portion of the fence right there as well because according to the New York Post this happened again today. We spoke with U.S. Border Patrol to learn what happened here at marker 36 of the border wall today what we have witnessed uh, several months now is that people are using the the border safety initiative marker number 36 as a gate or as a port of entry we need to educate the community that this is not a, an international port of entry this is not designated and Nicole, U.S. Border Patrol agent Orlando Marrero Rubio also told us that today they witnessed a group of around 500 migrants that turned themselves into U.S. authorities here at International Marker 36. I will have more details on this developing story coming up tonight on ABC 7 at 5. Reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border in Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Perez, ABC 7. Heriberto, thank you. And migrants have been taken away from the scene on the U.S. side of the wall and we processed by Customs and Border Protection. ABC 7's Sam Harrelson-Witz joins us live from the other side of the border. Sam. Good afternoon, Nicole. It's not so much about what we're seeing at this moment. It's really about what we're not seeing, because when I arrived here at the scene in this part of the border wall in El Paso's Lower Valley, this area was filled with migrants being put onto buses that have now since left this area. I want to show video of that moment. What we saw and what I was able to capture on film earlier was many migrants being put into smaller and larger units. The video you're seeing is a group of what looked like young men being put into a border patrol unit. That unit closed off and then taken away by federal agents. Earlier on, I also saw larger buses that looked more on a tour bus style, have dozens upon dozens of migrants packed in there to see to be moved here and to be processed by federal agents. Again, I learned from Border Patrol that they were apprehended due to violating immigration law and crossing the border illegally. Again, I will be speak and I will be speaking with someone who saw all of this take place live coming up on ABC 7 at 5. But Nicole, again, a very different scene than just a couple hours ago. Looking forward to that report, Sam. Thank you. 